Hello and welcome to Math Illustrations Basics Tutorial 6 presented by Saltier Software. My name is Audrey and today I'm going to be walking you through how to create an animated GIF that can be put in PowerPoint. The animated GIF I'm going to make is a four bar linkage and I'm going to use the line segment tool to create my four bars. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. Next thing I'll want to do is constrain some of these sides. So first I'm going to constrain line segment AB and we'll just leave it as A. I'll constrain line segment BC. We'll leave that as B. And finally, I'll constrain line segment CD. And we also want to call this B so that they're completely even. I also want to constrain coordinates A and D by going, clicking and highlighting. Going up to constrain coordinate, and we'll leave that as is and do the same with D. Click, constrain coordinate. And finally, I want to constrain this angle right here by holding control, selecting these two lines, and then choosing angle in the constraint toolbox. And we'll leave that as theta. So now what I want to do is I need to look at which of the variables I want to move and in order to do that I need a toolbox we don't have here so I'm going to go to view and then tool panels and choose variables and here are all the variables we have you'll notice that math illustrations will automatically put in variables for us and we want to choose theta we're going to move all these lines around using theta if we pick it and we simply click play, theta will move in a 360 degree arc. Now we can change these by adding a min value and a max value to our theta. We can also change the amount of time it takes, but we're just going to leave it as is. To export this, we'll want to go to file and then export and then animation. And it will ask us where we want to save it. We'll call this basic animation 3. Enter. Now it asks us things like DPI, frames per second, so we can speed up or slow down, number of iterations if we want maybe to go two times around or for unlimited times. But the thing I want to show you is the variables. You need to make sure that the variable you have here matches the one that you selected up here. And it doesn't, so we're going to go to the drop down menu and select theta. And now we click OK. The next thing it will want us to do is to draw the region that we want exported. And you'll want to make sure you have enough white space that your the full movement can be seen. So we're going to go right about here and drag around our shape. And now it's going to encode the frames for us. It goes, we're almost, there we go. And now if we go to our PowerPoint, we can go to insert and movies and sounds, and then we'll select a movie from file. And we're in the animated GIF where I saved my GIF, but we don't see it, so I'm going to select all files and basic animation 3. And we'll click OK. And we have it right there. You won't be able to see it until you go to view show. And you can see it animated. And that's how you create an animated GIF and export it to a PowerPoint document. My name is Audrey. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post them below. If you're interested in math illustrations, you can visit the website at www.mathillustrations.com. Thanks for watching.